calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester United. They take on Milan next on EA TV. Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester United, and they take on Milan. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? They get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Dean Henderson starts between the posts. Harry Maguire plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Scott McTominay plays with Fred in central midfield. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Edinson Cavani. This is the Milan starting 11. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little... And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. A deft clearance. Good technique display. And delivered into the box. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Cavani. Oh, they've lost it. Pressing high to win the ball. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Eccentric goalkeeping. Sancho. And a throw-in forthcoming. Just cutting off the supply. And he could really get at the opposition. Calabria. Davide Calabria. And moving the ball nicely. And Giroud waits to fire. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Well, potential danger. 
Rashford is through. Not out of the woods yet. Not a time for cool heads. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Sloppy in possession from Milan. Oh, surely! And still danger here. But no, it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up. Position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Magnificent defending. Teo Hernandez. Ante Rebic has it. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Diaz, chance to put them in front. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. And over it comes, and still dangerous. Giroud, tremendous block, denied once more. Diaz, and a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Sancho Bruno Fernandes and what a magical save it was and there's the delivery well met it with the full force of his head but over the top He continues his run. Rashford played towards the back post. But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And that will do it for the first half here at the Estadio Metropolitano. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Juan Bissaka. Lindelof. Take it away. And it's United's turn now. Marcus Rashford. Well, it could be on for him here. And that is defending of the highest order. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Encouraging stuff from United. And it's played into the center. And blocked for now. Brahim. Well, not hard to read that pass. Cavani. Very quick thinking there. Brahim. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. So making the substitution now. Shot. and bizarrely that's offside well that's really sloppy that was a great opportunity to keep the ball high up the pitch and work an opening he's in with a chance oh he did superbly well to get back there and thwart him Ooh. 
Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. Surely! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Not really the ideal clearance. Brahim. Effective challenge. Well, as you can see, United have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes. And they're playing really well. In and a really good diving stop. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Let's see about the delivery. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Rashford. Oh, moving it nicely. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Now sending it in. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Cavani. Superb block. They could nudge in front. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And Milan have the ball once more. Good looking pass. Not an easy one to cut out, really. More than decent, this, from United. Cavani might want this one. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Over it comes. And still dangerous. Just cutting off the supply. Milan still going forward as the minutes tick away. Even Steven. Calabria. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Possession lost. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Diaz. Well, these Milan fans believe there's still one more big chance coming their way to win the game. And if they take it, this place will go wild. Jaden Sancho. And taken away. Bruno Fernandes. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Brahim. Giroud. Really vital interception here. Not totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. Opportunity it is. And how about that for a save? Well, the post getting in the way there. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Rashford unable to hold it. Bruno Fernandes. Jaden Sancho. It's with McTominay. Aimed towards Marcus Rashford. Cavani. Rashford. And can he find someone at the far post? And the flag raised. Offside it is. Brevich. 
It's a promising Milan move. He has time to play it over. Ficayo Tomori. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But just like that, possession changes hands. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Good looking sequence. Crossing possibilities. Maybe. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Teo Hernandez. And Milan looking dangerous. He's taken on his opponent here. Cutting the ball back. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Playing it in and clearing it away. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Jaden Sancho still pushing for a winner. Fine cross into the middle. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Now just couldn't keep the ball. Well, just five minutes left at extra time, and a penalty shootout beckons. And intercepts again. Can't argue with that little move. And possibilities inside the box. Marcus Rashford. Cavani with a slide rule pass. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. After 120... And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Can he get the better of the keeper? And off the top of the crossbar. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Well, he couldn't quite hit the desired target. Job done from the spot. Oh, and couldn't convert. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And confidently converted. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. the other distraught well what an end into a very good tournament and I think they fully deserve to win it maybe not in this manner though but it was great entertainment it certainly was and they're not going to forget this in a hurry a proud moment for everyone involved with the club but for their opponents it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible well I think we should give them some credit too they played their part in what was an excellent contest some of their football was brilliant
Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester United. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. Manchester United are the winners of the UEFA Champions League.